Man, it's a bit like Christmas has come early or something like that. Because I think I know what this is. I think this is the new uh, Ada box. So. I like the little LED. <laughs> that is so cute. Circuit Playground. Oh, very Christmassy themed. A globe container. Oh, you can make an electric snow globe. Ah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. I've never heard of this magazine, to be perfectly honest. Is it new? No, well, issue 25. We'll definitely have to take a spin through this in detail later. Nice Christmassy themed wrapping paper. The usual wrapping on the inside. And is this the blue fruit? Yes, the blue fruit. That's what I thought. Nice. Oh, and a TFT gizmo. Oh, so it's got the, uh, it's got a display. Uh huh. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was looking at the stuff online. Oh, that's very nice. The enclosures, you can make a, a Christmas decoration out of it. And this is the USB LiPo charger and a LiPo and a DIY ornament. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, okay, yeah. Put something inside there and uh, hang it up. Beautiful. A nice little selection of doodobblies for um, Christmas making. Let's you can I get in this? Oh, it's just... All right. <clears throat> now. So there's a TFT on one side. And a bunch of pins. Oh, I suppose, yeah, you can make a clock out of it. Um, and these, you would be able to... Analog 1 and Analog 2. I wonder if you can daisy chain these. Huh. I'll have to take a look. Um, and we've got a speaker that you can put onto it. <clears throat> does that fit this guy? I wonder if it does. Yes, hello Sadie. You want in on this action? Holy Miss Groolies. Did it stick to your paw? Okay, so you've got a way of turning something on and off. Is that a switch on here or is it on a switch on the blue fruit? Probably a switch on the blue fruit. Yeah. 
So the blue fruit can sit in there and it can make all kinds of nice little bright colors. We've got a globe that we could probably illuminate using a blue fruit. Something like that. Or it could sit underneath. Oh yes. Yes, there we go. Now we're talking. That's gonna work as a diffuser. Sorry, slip the blue fruit in here. That'll work as a diffuser. And I wonder how we're gonna get uh, USB into that. Not sure. Now, and then this will go on to here. I bet you that'll make a nice snow globe when we put this stuff in here. Where? Sadie, where did you put that? Hmm. That looks like fun. And I've never seen these boards before. Is it just a display? Yeah, it's just a display. and ways of migrating your power down into the blue fruit, probably. So if you didn't want to just use the, um, I don't think they're WS2812s anymore. I think they're um, a different neo, a different type of NeoPixel, but those migrate down onto there. So that makes a nice stack up, I think. Uh, if I got it on the right way. Uh, DC ground. Oops, maybe it goes this way. There we go. Because that is 3.3, and that says DC. So yeah. And then there was a little bag of screws. All right, so we can put a display on here. Just suppose it could go on underneath. I don't know. Very nice though. A nice little collection of of doodads, I have to say. I mean, really, even just this with some diffuser material and uh, would make a nice little doodobbly. Or you could put that on the other side and you could load up a bunch. Does this have an SD? I wonder how much room there is on this thing. Um, and you could put a display and you could have like a, a Christmas ornament with um, family pictures coming up on it. Another idea. Oh my goodness. Just so much win in this thing. I love it. So I'm going to test this for water tightness because it would really be a shame to have fluid leak out of in here, out of here into into here and destroy electronics. But uh, my guess is that it's designed to make snow globes. And I'm just wondering what kind of oh glycerin. Glycerin is what you would put in here. Yes. And is glycerin conductive? I don't think it is. Because then it would slow down the, uh, the falling of the snow. Hmm. I'll have to do some research. Baby oil. Yes. Yes, I think baby oil is what you can use. Because um, that is... I'm pretty sure that that's an insulator. Well, a reasonably good insulator. So even if there was some leakage, um, it would uh, it would have less of a chance of damaging the electronics. But I'll have to check, do some research on that. Right. Mineral oil is what I would use in here because, yeah, it's non-conductive, um, and it's used as a as a lubricant in uh, at a coolant um, when you've got electronics nearby. So even if there were leakage, which there probably would be very little of. It would not destroy the electronics. In fact, you could probably actually submerge electronics in mineral oil and it would still operate just fine. And I think 
some people have done just that in order to cool raspberry pies if i remember correctly but i'm not 100 percent sure on that one i'll have to google that as well sure enough on hackaday somebody was cooling their raspberry pie with mineral oil yep So yeah, just putting a little bit of diffusion, diffusing material in there um, does quite a bit for improving the, uh, the look of those LEDs. So it's just cotton wool, well, pillow stuffing or whatever you call it. Used it on the cloud ceiling lamp, which I still have to finish, actually. Man, oh man. The list of things just gets so long, doesn't it? Now, are these things conductive? It does not look like it. So, that gives me an idea. Okay, you can go online and read the guide, but really quickly. A rundown of what's on the board. USB um, connector, um, a couple of LEDs, we've got your digital 13 like on Arduinos, we've got an on LED, we've got our <clears throat> our uh, uh, our microcontroller, the NRF <clears throat> 52840 right there. Um, there's two megs of Spy Flash there is a speaker, and there's apparently an amplifier on here, a class D amplifier. I'm not sure which chip it is that's the amplifier. There is a, that's the, um, the Bluetooth tooth antenna right there. This is a motion sensor. This, uh, which is it? Uh, that is the light sensor right there. So you've got um, a way of sensing whether it's light or, or dark. Um, there is a, uh, a microphone so that it can sense whether or not there is sound in the room so it can wake on wake on sound and things like that this switch is not an on off switch it is just a dual state switch um, that allows you to um, turn on or off things or change change the state from one state to another and then a couple of push buttons and that's the uh, quick rundown oh yeah these um, three on this side, and these three on this side are, capa are hooked up to capacitive touch on the NRF. So you could use capacitive touch sensing on those pins. And um, then, of course, these are also alligator clip clippable so that you can clip alligator leads to them, or crocodile if you're down in Australia. So yeah. Uh, that's the quick rundown of the board, of uh, what, what is all on the board. Yeah, of course, power connector here. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, Full-featured little development board, I have to say. The Adafruit people just, they always knock it out of the park. Okay, so we've got some testing to do. Now, in order to properly test the craziness... I should probably figure out what the breakdown voltage of this stuff is. Um, I've got two. There's some um, some fragrance in this generic um, version. So my guess is that those that fragrance will have some. Yeah, there's a good chance it'll have some polarity. In which case, it'll um, conduct electricity. But um, if you want to be on the safe side, then just use straight up mineral oil because that's non-conductive. But the other thing we want to test is, is mineral oil too dense to produce a nice snowflake effect? So I want to see if these things will actually sink or if they'll rise to the top. There's a lid for this. Yeah, it looks like these are floating. Oh no. No, I was just surface tension. Huh. 
I think that might work then. They do take a little while to settle down, but they could take a little longer. So I'm wondering if I need something else in there besides these guys to make um, glitter. And do I have any non... Okay, it's going to need some blue LEDs, that's for sure. Here's a cheesy little Millennium Falcon to throw some blue LEDs in behind. Okay, so I think it just needs a little Santa Claus sitting on it somewhere. And <clears throat> then it start filling her up, gluing her in. Hmm. Nail art stickers. Okay, this is an odd perspective. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing. Not that you have to. I'm just soldering on a couple of uh, bits onto this, and then it can fill it up with the um, with the glitter and with the um, mineral oil, and she'll be done. So I think there is a little bit of a leak in the bottom of this thing, but that's okay because it uh, it's mineral oil and it's not going to short anything out. So I'm not too worried about it as long as it doesn't leak out of the, the container here. But um, so I'm wondering if mineral oil actually lifts up um, glue because this is a very, uh, especially the, the, um, the inner stopper piece is a very, I guess you call it low energy plastic. Its surface energy is very low, so things don't want to stick to it. Is is I, what you the way you understand that? I guess um, I'm not a expert on materials by any stretch of the imagination. But anyways, that I digress. What I wanted to um, talk about was how awesome the community is around the Adafruit products. I mean, I had. Um, a stumble on my way to doing some programming with this thing. I uh, <clears throat> was not copying and pasting things properly into the Mew editor, and then it took me a couple of minutes to figure out what was going on. But um, people, well, in particular, um, even the <laughs> the owner of the company, the person who started it, Lady Ada, was was there help helping. I mean, she doesn't she have enough to do that. She <laughs> was on uh, a chat on Friday night at like midnight. I mean, good grief. Thank you. Thank you very much for for being my rubber duck. But uh, yeah, no, the community entirely has always been um, wonderful that I've, I've noticed about Adafruit. So um, a big shout out to the, to the folks there. And uh, yeah, uh, I highly recommend... The Ada boxes, they're just a lot of fun. You make 
to give you a great little collection of, of doodads to exercise your creativity with. And uh, there are awesome guides and people make fun stuff. And yes, absolutely. So much fun. Anyways, um, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. And talk to you all later. Bye for now.